Hold versus Park. Your phone has two different ways of placing someone on hold. One is private and the other is public. You'll find a dedicated hard key for hold. When talking, you'll also notice a soft key under the phone screen with the same name. Simply press either of the hold buttons to place a call on hold. Press the resume soft key or the hard key to take the call off hold. While a call is on hold, the caller will hear your company's hold music. During this time, you can place the receiver back on the cradle or leave it on your desk. The second type of hold is called park. Most telephones will have a number of parking slots assigned to buttons along the right hand side of the phone screen. For this reason, park is also referred to as public hold. Park calls will be visible to all phones with parking buttons and can be picked up from any of those phones throughout the organization. When park buttons are green, that means that the parking slot is available. When red, there is a call currently parked in that slot. To put someone on park, you can use any green park button. When you do, the button will turn red on both your phone and all phones throughout the organization. At this point, you'd notify the recipient that they have a park call. The recipient can walk to any telephone and take their call by pressing the red park button. Unlike private holds, all parking spots will time out after a call has been parked for three minutes. Typically, these calls will ring back to the extension that placed them on park. This prevents a caller from getting stranded indefinitely in a parking spot. An easy way to practice the hold and park functions is to call your cell phone from your handset and follow the above instructions. In doing so, you will also understand what the caller will hear if you place a call on hold or park.